morning blue. How'd you sleep? Did you have a good weekend or what? Been off for a few days now. We're back. How's it going? I'm getting all blue ready. She's freshly serviced. Fresh oil, fresh grease, completely looked over. I got new batteries too. So we got my batteries tested uh, when the truck went in this weekend and they were all shot, all four of them. So we've got four brand new cat batteries in there right now. They're, they're a lot more expensive than I thought they were. I thought they were like $100 each. Ah, <laughs> silly me. What am I living in the 90s? $100 each. They were $250 each. Canadian. And then remember, I'm Canadian. So when I say dollars, I'm talking Canadian unless if I specifically say US dollars. So uh, that, that's, uh, that's around about you know, 190 right? 180 190 American dollars each. Maybe 200 <whistles> But we needed them. We needed them. You want to see what else we got? I showed you at the end of uh, my last trip when we got back a few days ago. I'm so excited to use those today. So we're going to go pick up a load in Kenora and I have to tarp them. Those are my new tarps. I got them when I got back from my last trip. Picked them up. They're brand new. They're still in the packaging. These tarps there, I'm going to take along for this trip because I haven't taken those things out of the package yet. I don't want to take them out of the package and like roll them all up uh, because they look so nice and pretty in there. So I'm going to take them out when we actually tarp. And for if whatever reason, what is in those tarps is not, or in those bags is not what I had ordered, it'll be fine. But just in case, I don't want to be left with no tarps today. So I'm taking these tarps along just for one trip, one more trip. And they're probably just going to sit on the deck of the trailer the entire time because I'm going to use those. Just for peace of mind, yeah, whatever. Because those ones I know will work. Those, those they're, they're pretty holy and pretty patchy. I mean, they're more patched than tarp. But if I need them, they're there just for one more trip. And after I get those out of the bag and I use them once and everything looks good that I don't need to send them back or, you know, return them. Uh, well, I would return them before I use them. But once I get out of there, make sure that they're all good. And then uh, we will say goodbye to these. Should we have a ceremony for these? Like, it'd be more of a funeral. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. So uh, yeah, let's get everything in here. Let's get Old Blue warmed up with our fresh oil. Look at this grease on the fifth wheel. Ooh, greasy. That's nice. That's nice and greasy. Let's get hooked up to our trailer and let's head out to Kenora. It's about a two hour drive. And we got a load there we're picking up today. We're delivering tomorrow morning in Brainerd, Minnesota with my brand new tarps. It's a beautiful day. Look at this. Can it get any better this time of year? Daylight hours are getting longer. We had to change our clocks the other day though. Lost an hour of sleep that night. That wasn't fun. But now, I mean the sun is up in the sky later in the day. Not technically, but by the clock. You know what I mean? So it makes it feel like the days are a lot longer again. and It's making me feel really good. I'm getting very excited for the upcoming summer. here for the tarp shed. I've got my new tarps sitting over there already. Look at them. 
nice and clean, bright blue glistening in the sunlight. This is the center tarp. I'm not going to need that tarp this time, so I'm just going to leave it there and leave it wrapped up so it stays clean. Those actually came with their own bags, which I'm going to reuse if I can. I put them in here. See? Keep them clean in there. That's the bags they came in. Then when I'm done with them, I'll roll them up, throw that bag around them again and keep them clean so that they don't get all that salt and road grime. And yes, I got these from uh, Mighty Products. And these two here have end flaps on them. So they got eight foot drops. That center one, I'm not gonna use that often because these are the loads I haul the most and it only takes two tarps to cover them, two end tarps. Obviously, when I'm done with them, when I unload in the morning, I'll roll them up properly. Like I have these ones back here. I won't need these unless if for some reason those are the wrong size. But these are the old ones. Look at the difference, eh? They're supposed to be the same color. Look at these things. Just torn up. Like, you can tell they've been around a long, long time. It was time. It's definitely time. It's a big day. I wish it was on a day when I wouldn't be getting my tarps all dirty, but it is what it is. Those three tarps cost me $808 US uh, plus shipping. So it came out to about $1,000 Canadian. For that, and that's a really good deal. Everyone I've talked to said, what, you got what? <laughs> you got what price? So, uh, the, from the shopping I've done, I was expecting to spend closer to 2000 And now I only spent 1000 so finally, finally something's a little cheaper than I expected. That doesn't happen very often in trucking. Actually, that never happens. So mark this down in history. This is probably not going to happen again, but we can hope. All right, of course the ground is wet, so let's get the tarp dirty right away. But that's what we have to do. So I'm going to hook it up to... The crane up here now. I'm gonna pull it over, see what it looks like. All right, and up we go. First time. Oh, that looks nice. That's nice. Picture time. I wish I had a clean truck for this. Oh well. They're never gonna look that clean again. <laughs> I just want to sit here and stare at them. So if you're wondering where I got them from, that's where. Great quality, in my opinion. Now let's go. I'm 
really glad the roads are clear and dry today. Maybe my tarps will stay clean for more than one trip. It's a messy time of year. I'm surprised that today is like this even. The weather's really warm with us. 10 degrees Celsius. So we're 10 degrees above freezing. That windshield is filthy. I washed it this morning. As soon as the sun shines on it though, it shows you what a bad job you've done. Yikes, I did a terrible job. I have to clean that again. Wow, when the sun's not shining directly on it, it looks clean. Sort of. Kind of. So we're making our way towards Fort Francis where we'll cross into International Falls. Last week we took that bypass. I don't know if I'm gonna take it again. It's it's a lot longer to go around that way. Longer distance and longer time. There's no real benefit to it. Because the route that goes through town is a, is a truck route. And it's shorter. Normally a bypass would be faster, right? But not all the time. We'll see how I feel when I get there. We're gonna get unloaded first thing in the morning. And then we're gonna rush back up here to Kenora for another one. Quickly load that up tomorrow afternoon and then head back down to deliver the next day in the morning. And after that, I have a load waiting for me in Burlington, Iowa. I'm gonna go grab that and take that home. And I'll deliver it into Saskatchewan on Monday. Today when I'm filming this, it's a Tuesday. So, got the whole week planned out. Weather is still great here in Fort Francis, Ontario. Just Flight across the river. Slight right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 11. Just across the river from International Falls, Minnesota. Bridge to USA this way. Go we'll say hello to our friendly American neighbors. Got some stuff for you. Right under my brand new tarps. I know even Karen's excited. Well, now our flags are at half mast. Is that still for uh, Prime Minister Brian Mulroney who passed away? Wasn't that like two weeks ago already? How long did they leave them down for? I'm not saying that's a bad thing if they do. I was just wondering what the standard is when a Prime Minister dies, like a previous Prime Minister, how long do we, how long are we supposed to leave them at half mast? In 500 meters, turn right on 2nd Avenue, US 53, and then turn right into 130 meters.
good test because I have pretty much exactly Turn the right same and load. Left. Turn right in 110 meters. Same weights, same truck, same trailer. intersection where I, where I turn left because today and tomorrow on both both days we're going to be turning left there which is just a few miles up around the corner here and that'll give us a more accurate estimate because I have to factor in that I'm losing time on this route by stopping at this intersection which is what I'm not going to have to do tomorrow so it's been 10 minutes and 57 seconds so 11 minutes pretty much Ouch! Ouch! Careful, Josh! Why would you miss your gear like that? This road for kilometers. Okay, so in 11 kilometers, like 8 miles or so, we make a left turn, and that's where I'm going to stop the stopwatch today and tomorrow, and let's see which way is faster. Lots of those flags out here. 
I see them all over the place. I see them everywhere, actually. Everywhere I go. Even in Canada. <laughs> no joke. We're here. Just enough time to park and go to bed. Hoping there's going to be room for me at the gate. Last time it was filled right up. Remember that? Hopefully it's not too busy. I need to get unloaded as early as possible tomorrow morning. I need to run back to Kenora and get reloaded before end of day. And get my paperwork sent off to the customs brokers so that I can be cleared to come back. So they rushed. We're going to get unloaded. Zip straight back. Two trucks in front of me. So it looks like the new tarps held up nicely. So I have enough fuel to get back to Kenora tomorrow. I'd like to fuel here, but Casey's where I fuel here in Brainerd is closed already. It's They closed like five minutes before I got into town. So I can't fuel up tonight. I'm thinking by the time I get unloaded tomorrow, I'm thir third in line, <clears throat> excuse me. The gate will open at 6.30 and uh, we'll get in inside probably around seven. I'll probably be out of here between 8.30 and nine, I'm thinking, which isn't bad, right? And then it's a six hour drive back. I'm gonna go up through Bedette, Minnesota into Rainy River, Ontario and cross there to save on the toll. But a six hour drive back. And if I get out of here at nine, that means I'm getting up there at three, which is good, right? Three o'clock is totally fine. But when I get there, I've also got to get reloaded and I've got to go get my paperwork and send in that paperwork before end of day so that I can get cleared for customs. Because once I send that in, I go and tarp my load like I did today. And then I rush down back here to Brainerd, right? I'll probably get to like Deer River or something tomorrow, uh, which is uh, about an hour and a half from here. I won't have time in the morning because if I get out of here at nine o'clock, it'll be 15 minutes to the fuel station to Casey's or oh, 15 minutes minimum to fuel, probably more like 25 to 30 minutes because it takes a little bit uh, of time there to process the payment. It, oh, it always takes longer to fuel there because uh, just the way their payment system works there. So about 30 minutes there, let's say, and then 15 minutes back to here and then six hours from here back. So it's at least 45 minutes to an hour. That would be taken out of my day tomorrow morning before I even leave Brainerd to go back to Kenora. That means I'm only getting to Kenora at four o'clock, right at end of day. That's uh, that's too late. I won't be able to make that. So I'm gonna have to buy some fuel in Kenora tomorrow, which is a little bit more expensive than here in the U.S. and Minnesota. But I'm not gonna fill up my tanks. So first, first things first. I'm gonna go to Kenora. We're gonna get loaded. Once we're loaded, everything's sent away. I'm gonna have to take a little detour to Kenora Petro Pass, which is a little little ways up the road, a few miles out of the way, the opposite direction that I would usually go to come back down here. Go to the fuel station, fill up one of my tanks, just so I have enough to get back down here. That's my only option. Uh, I, I I can't afford to, to fuel tonight. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me. If you wanna go check out my friends and sponsors, you can go down below to my description. You'll see a list of all of my Links down there if you want any of my official social media links. They're down below as well in the description. If you're on your phone, you can click the title and it'll give you a drop down box. You might have to click a little button that says more. And there's a whole bunch of stuff down there where you can get to know me on a whole different level and follow me on all kinds of different platforms. Uh, Facebook and X, those are my two main platforms outside of YouTube. Obviously, there's my YouTube here. Go check out my friends at Bullsnot, at House, and at Beaver Bitcoin. All of their Links are down below in the description. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do some more trucking. It'll be a rush. <laughs> when are we not in a rush, right? Chasing these dollars before the government can get them. I'm going to try to grab a couple of them and take them before they take them away. Maybe I can at least feel what they feel like for a couple of minutes, and then they'll be gone.
I need to go to bed. Good night. Stay safe.